Hey folks, in today's video tutorials I'd like to show you how to work with unbanned feature. I will show you a couple of examples how you can define your custom unbanned. I have prepared two models and I will start directly from this one. You can see in the model tree that I've created the first planar object and then two flanges. How to work with planar first wall feature or flange feature, you can have a look at my previous tutorial and you will learn more about sheet metal feature with Creo Parametric 4.0. Okay, so let's start with unbent. If you would like to use the unbent feature for this shape, you can have a look that system automatically select the fixed references and system will create unbent feature but I'd like to show you more. So I don't want to use the automatic, but I would like to use the custom selection or manual selection. And I will remove one flange from this one. So the system will create unbent feature only for this band. I'd like to confirm and you can see that system will create shape like this. But on the opposite side, I'd like to drive the unbent feature with my curve or cross-section driven unbent feature. So you can select the drop-down menu from the unbent group and select. The system asks you that you can select the curve one by one or select the chain and so on. So I like to fix this edge. And if you select this edge and confirm done, the system asks you if you would like to again select the curve or you would like to sketch curve. What will be happen if I will select the, the curve one more time? The final result will be same like this. So the system will create the unbent feature same like you can see here. But I'd like to use my custom one. So I will select sketch curve and confirm done. And what the system asks me that select the sketch plane and orientation plane. Orientation plane you can select by default and system will spin the model to 2D sketch. And in the sketch, you need to create here straight line or your custom one. And the system will create perpendicular unbent feature to your sketch. So this example, I will create a straight line and you know that it's possible to select the references, for example, here and go the opposite one and confirm here. So my final sketch is right now only straight line and I'd like to use the perpendicular unbend here. So if you confirm this sketch, and the system again ask you select the fixed size how i know what the system ask me you can find here and the system will ask you that select the fixed side so you can choose which one you would like to fix you can flip it really easy and confirm ok and everything is defined you can confirm ok and right now you can see that my unbent feature is definite by my custom curve in the sketch for unbent feature and it's uh, perpendicular to this sketch. So in the final results you can see that this is the default and this is my custom modification. In your example you can try to create, doesn't create a straight line, you can create some curve there and the system will create perpendicular unbent feature. So it's a something like approximation that you know that the final result will be similar to your shape. Quick example for you. You need to modify it. You can select this one and you would like to modify the X section curve. So double click and sketch curve one more time and system will go back to the sketch. And I said that I don't want to use the straight line but some arc, for example. So I will select these two edges and the arc will be something like this. So it will be not straight line. It will be 
it will be not the same edge like here, but it will be something middle. Okay, so right now if I confirm the sketch OK and confirm the finish, you can see right now again it's perpendicular to my curve. Okay, so it was a first example how to create the cross section driven unbent feature. And you know that I have a something different again for you. So here's the question if it is possible to unbend 3D model like this. Yeah, so again, I create some base shape, some draft, and then a couple of another feature for round or extrude, and the final transformation from solid to sheet metal. So the, it was. It was really easy and really quick to create a 3D model. But another question is if it is possible to use the unbent. And here is the question that over here is deformation error. If you would like to use the default unbent feature again, so if you would like to use the unbent, system will select the fixed geometry. And for this fixed geometry, you can see here that system asks you to choose deformations or deformation surfaces. And what do you think which surfaces will be deformed? So, for example, that one and another one. And you can have a look how the system will create unbent. But you need to define more than left side. So if you continue on the opposite direction, and then the system will create for you unbent like this. And again, here is the question that that shape, unbent shape, is good one or it's a something like approximation of a reality so maybe it doesn't work like this over here is a lot of materials and it's not possible to create in real world so I like to delete this feature and I like to use function split area I will show you how it's work so you need to define deformation area first and then we will use the unbent feature so split area ask you for the select sketch plane and in the sketch you will specify which shape will be deformed so this area i like to in the future use like deformation area opposite side yeah? you can see here it's definite and on the opposite I will create a second one. So again, sketch plane and select some references and create shape for this area. Okay. And confirm OK and opposite direction. Perfect. Everything looks good. I can confirm. You can see again that I have created two split area for deformation and I will choose the unbent feature again. But now I would like to use deformation surfaces, this one and this one. Okay? And what will be final results? Totally different like the first one and you can see that uh, this approximation looks much better like the previous one. So I hope so that you can reuse these great functions. You can reuse it in your 3D models. Thanks for watching my video tutorials for unbending feature or custom unbend features. And in the next tutorials, I like to focus on transitional unbend. Okay, thank you. Stay tuned. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Vladimir. -bye.